In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top five tips for the world of visual arts and becoming a VJ. So tip number one is shortcuts and mappings. You should definitely be using shortcuts and mappings as much as possible because it's the difference of what's going to get you out of that beginner VJ stage and going on to be actually become quite advanced in your resolute workflow. Even during the beginner stage, you should be starting to experiment and starting to fiddle with your shortcuts because not only is it going to save you a whole lot of time, but it's really the thing that's actually going to take your visual mixes to that next level. But you should definitely be having a look and thinking about keyboard and OSC shortcuts as well. If you don't have a MIDI control at the moment, there's absolutely nothing to stop you from getting real funky and inventive using your keyboard shortcuts. Once you start getting experience in the world of shortcuts and mappings, you can start to actually do some really clever things with them. You can start duplicating shortcuts or having a singular button controlling multiple parameters, and you can really start to build a sophisticated mapping that is gonna take your both your performance and your general workflow to that next level. So tip number two is of course Windows. So one of the most important tips for you to know, and Apple users bear with me, is Windows. You've got to get used to Windows as fast as possible. So I'm not going to lie, there's going to be so many problems that you will encounter courtesy of using Windows. But my best advice is just get used to it as quickly as possible. You're going to have so many weird and unexplainable issues that come courtesy of using Windows and to be fair, it is a nightmare. But the first place to always look is, has there been a Windows update between the last time it was working and when the error occurred? So I know what you're thinking, like, why wouldn't I just use Apple? But I mean, you could, there's nothing stopping you from using Apple or VJing on Apple but in my opinion, it's not worth it. So PC is gonna to be to the 2020s what Apple was to the 2010s. So if you think softwares like Photoshop and Illustrator are becoming just more outdated just with free versions that do the same thing, that is free, right? So there's no point in going that down that designer route of Apple anymore. And in my opinion, PC is definitely the more modern alternative that is actually gonna keep up with you throughout your VJ career. So my third tip is using NDI. NDI is a bit of software made by a company called NewTek and it stands for Network Device Interface. Think of it as using like an ethernet cable but wirelessly via your router instead. So to be fair, the power of NDI is actually quite immense. You can, like, you can do some really cool stuff using it. So as Resolume natively supports NDI as a source input, so anything that is NDI compatible, such as screen recording, uh, you can use as a live input feed into Resolume. There's also an app for the phone you can use that will turn your phone into an NDI output. I think the app costs like 17 pounds, but I think it's worth the money because you can start doing some really cool and really fun stuff with it. So if you think like if you're at a gig and there's all the crowd there, you can use your phone, you can start filming them, start throwing some effects and stuff on top of that source and you can start to get some really cool and really trippy results with that. So this is a good one. Tip number four, one of my personal favorites is called Arc. Arc is a plugin developed by the lab visuals that will fully change the game on how you VJ. I personally helped develop this plugin, so I'm definitely a little bit biased, but it's absolutely insane. Arc stands for Advanced Resolume Controller, and what it does is turns your regular old Akai APC-40 Mark II into 16 Akai APC-40 Mark IIs, giving you 256 pots, 128 sliders, and 640 buttons. If you have one of these controllers, this plugin is literally a must have. Like once you start using it, you, you can't go back. There's no going back to VJing without using it. So I will be making further videos and tutorials on this plugin and how to use it and how to set it all up and that. And so if you wanna see those, make sure you stick around on this channel. And finally, tip number five is Juice Bar. So Juice Bar is the Resolume plugin service and something you should definitely be using. On Juice Bar, you can browse through all the different types of plugins that have been made for Resolume. There's such a variety to choose from. A personal favorite of mine being the Edge Effect which is basically the upgraded version of the edge detection default effect. It just means you can get much more specific and creative with how you would be using the regular edge detection effect. I think it's only about 9.99, so it's really worth the money in my opinion. But if you don't feel like you wanna purchase anything right now, you've had a look and there's nothing really that you want right now. There's so many free plugins and demos on there to get you started. You can have some fun with those before you decide to actually financially invest in anything. So those are my top five VJ tips and tricks for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you whack a like and subscribe down there as it's gonna massively help out the channel, so thank you. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this in the future about everything Resolume, VJ, how to get into it, reviews, all this kind of stuff. If this is what you wanna see and what you're into, then uh, stick around on the channel. Peace.